So y'all want to see what the future of video editing actually looks like? With the innovation of things like Adobe Firefly, there has yet to be an integrated Adobe API that allows you to seamlessly edit all your timeline without even having to actually become an editor. With the click of a button, you can do that. And I'm going to do and show you guys not just any AI within Premiere Pro. I'm going to show you Ali Abdul, the productivity YouTuber, very own app. And I'm going to walk you through it and show you how you can use robots to edit all of your videos. So I'm jumping to Premiere Pro and use Firecut, their own proprietary app, an API within Premiere Pro, and show you how easy it is to use robots to edit all of your videos. So right now, I'm going to show you guys in real time. I have that video clip that I just filmed. So it's going to be really meta. You go into windows here after you go to the firecut website you download it it installs into premiere pro you go into extensions look firecut i click that give it some time to load and now is you have this very user-friendly interface you can do multi-track cameras you can add chapters you can even add punch in punch out you can remove all the silences. You can remove filler words. All these are still in beta. But the first thing I'm going to do is I shall remove the silences. So I have two different tracks. One is from the actual camera, and the other is from this Yeti microphone. So we'll see how this works. It's all grouped. I'm going to click Remove Silences. This dialog will pop up here, which audio it wants to track from. You can do all of them full sequence, faster to render, you can do mp3. Let's go with a looser cut. You click go. Now the program will automatically detect all the sciences and then it will automatically do all of the cutting for you. You zoom in here and as you can see, I'm not doing anything. It's doing it all by itself. Not typing anything, not touching anything. And there you go, 19 silences were cut, 25 seconds. The cuts are made. All you really need to do is kind of sift through and see any of parts where the claps or the sinks didn't work. And you cut that out, for the most part, it cut all of the silences out. Next, what I'm going to show you guys is I'm going to add in zooms. Click Add Zoom. You change the frequency, and then I'm going to click you can also change the scale of the zoom. Animation 120, click go. Same thing, it's gonna automatically detect where it wants the zooms to go in and it's gonna automatically have the punch in and the punch out. This is essentially every YouTuber's first editor. If you're gonna hire someone, this is what you're gonna get them to do for you. As you can see, there's almost like a little animation to that. It's like a smooth zoom in, zoom out. You go into this adjustment layer that's created and you can actually see what it's doing. It's putting the transform tool and has a little bit of an easing in, easing out, kind of like a default edit. Go through here, which is pretty damn amazing. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna leave this entire first cut to show you guys that I did not even edit it. I used the robot and used an AI in within Firecut to show you that I touched two buttons and I just saved myself an hour, if you're a slow editor, two hours of time. You can head back, there's all these, I can add different chapters to see where it automatically detects the chapters and seeing which headlines that I want to create, especially if you're a YouTube creator, you wanna have certain chapters for your content. Another easy way to splice up and libertize, categorize your own content. As you can see, it just made all, it pretty much transcribed my audio. And these are the suggested nine chapters. And what you do now, you can add clips or you can add markers. I'm just add markers. Bam, all my markers are just added up for my content. And I know exactly where I'm talking about and having these dedicated chapters with these exact time marks, which would be good, especially if you wanna have all these timestamps for your YouTube content. So now what I've done is 
I've created my own AI title cards. It does a motion lower graphic thirds title. And as you can see, it took all those and it's created its only very own title card, which is pretty amazing. For now, you can change the fonts, but that is the default title card. So you have a default title card, default zooms. The future of video editing is three clicks away from you now. And that's the scary future of video editing. Well, not really scary. As long as you're a video editor and you understand how to use these tools, you can become the master of the puppeteer, if you know what I'm saying. Long gone at the times where you need to sift through, let's say a four hour podcast, I can just use any sort of these competitive apps that has an integrated API within Premiere Pro. And with a click of a button, I did a decent job. Of course, it's not gonna be perfect. You can always skim through, but it literally just saved you an hour, two, three hours of your time. And your time as a video editor is priceless. And I've actually teamed up with Firecut and their team over there. This is not a sponsored video, but I was able to get you guys a 30% off your first month in addition to your own free trial. You can use my discount code BVC. That's something from me to you guys. Always looking out for people who watch my content so you can become. You guys let me know. What do you guys think about the app? Would you use another competitor? And overall experience of future video editing. Would you use this? Or would you go back to the old turtle way? Because for me, after going through this app, I'm like, man, I don't know if I can edit normally again. Yeah. You're watching a broke vision collective where we all start with nothing, but you can always create something. <coughs>